fellow imagers. In this video, we're going to take a look at Voyager's autofocus routines in action, both single star V-curve autofocus and the multi-star local field autofocus. If you haven't already seen them, there are two other autofocus videos, one on setup and the other on use. So with that said, let's get started and take a look at V-curve autofocus in action. So now that you've seen how to set up and execute autofocus, let's look at an autofocus run. This is a single star autofocus run, the V-curve. And on the left, you can see the star profile is measured by Voyager based on the image. On the right, being returned from the camera, Voyager is moving the focuser, taking multiple images, comparing the size. You see the HFD reading both on the lower right and in the HFD row in the center of the image. And once Voyager establishes where we are on the V-curve, it'll move the focuser to the final position. And there we are. We are done. We now have a HFD of 4.33, a very nicely focused telescope, and we're ready to take some images. Now let's take a look at a Voyager local field autofocus run. This is the multi-star autofocus in which Voyager will solve for the best average focus across the field. It takes successive images from the camera and looks at the stars across the field, plots their HFD size, and on the bottom left you can see what is essentially a heat map of star size uh, versus position in your image. Uh, the upper part of the screen you can see the V-curve being created as Voyager plots the average HFD against focuser position. Once it has established a V-curve, Voyager will move the focuser to the center of that V-curve and take one more confirming shot to show that we have reached good focus. And there it is. That is your best focus across the field with local field. Now that you've seen Voyager's autofocus in action, let me remind you there are two other autofocus videos, one on how to set it up and the other on how to use it, both from on the fly, in sequences, and a drag script automation. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, visit the forum, and you can watch our other videos at voyagerastro.com. We hope you enjoy Voyager's reliable automated imaging.